Hey everyone, Coach Martha here from Inspire Weight Loss. And I'm here again with Dr. Marty Nalda from South Orlando Weight Loss and soon to be Inspire Weight Loss Lake Nona. Hey, Marty. Hi there, Hi. how are you? I'm doing good. So today we are talking about another diagnosis that people walk around with all the time. Um, and it's hypertension, AKA high blood pressure. High blood pressure is actually an epidemic in this country. I think uh, um, cardiac issues are uh, one of the leading causes of death in yeah. this country. And high blood pressure is actually one of the things that in most cases, again, can be controlled with lifestyle. Right. And so, you know, there's a lot of things in life that we cannot control and we're all aware of that. But, you know, there are definitely things that are, that, that we have some control over and that we can help our bodies heal from and recover mm -hmm. and go into remission from. And high blood pressure is one of those that is actually one of the easiest ones to get under control nutrition wise. Yeah. Yeah. That's the bottom line, cardiac stress and the particles that are lining those blood vessels and all of that are usually a result of chronic inflammation. A lot of people right. think um, that it's just, you know, cholesterol and then, but that's a whole other topic for us yeah. to talk about. But most of that is an inflammatory response of the body and the inflammatory response can be um, corrected very easily nutrition wise. Yeah. And so when we talk about dealing with high blood pressure, um, actually there's been studies done and I believe for every kilogram that you lose, you drop a millimeter of mercury in terms of your blood pressure. So there's a direct correlation between how bad your high blood pressure is and how much weight you typically have on you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in our practices, we see it all the time where we have clients that come in, um, you know, on prescription drugs and either after they finish the weight loss program, they either come off of it or the dosing is way less. And yep, they're yep. so super happy about that. I mean, it's, it just goes hand in hand and it's amazing. Yeah, it's one, of the, it's one of the things that we ask our patients to track actually when we see that they come in with things like high blood pressure. We typically ask them to measure their blood pressure pretty much every morning if they haven't already been doing that because it's one of the easiest, you know, about week three, your body is so grateful yeah. And your yeah. body starts stabilizing that, you know, yeah. and they're like, my blood pressure has never been better. It's like, well, your body's grateful when you actually yeah. do the right thing for it. It's Absolutely. A, it's I'm also seeing how um, people younger, younger and younger people are diagnosed with this. Um, that's super sad. You know, I, I, I always, I have, every time I have patients or clients, I call them clients in front of me. It's like, I, I look at them. And then I think about their future them, <laughs> you know, it's like when you have 10 a 30 years. year old, when you have a 30 year old, that's already going that route. Okay. And uh, they're, you know, people are getting diagnosed with this prediabetes, like we talked about before, all of these metabolic issues early on. And you're looking at, you know, uh, young people in their early thirties and they have young children and yeah. You think about the fact, you know, and I, I, you know, I will ask my patients, like, do you want to walk your kid, you know, do you want to walk your daughter down the aisle? Do you aisle. Want, your do grandkids you want to be at your grandkids high school graduation? And yeah. these are things that you can control to a great extent with just some simple changes. It's not that hard. You just got to make a little bit um, of a change every yeah. day. I mean, look, yesterday I had one client that 20, he was 24 young that's young that's young that's a kid i'm that's old a kid. <laughs> that's a kid. <laughs> they were all compared to that he's young a 23.7 visceral fat rating and what does that mean because a lot of people that are listening have no idea what that means what's a healthy visceral fat reading actually the red zone starts at 12 so wow. less than 10 Wow. We say for males, less than 10, for females, less than seven. So wow. you can imagine. Um, more than double what's bad. More than double. And I'm looking at this. It's like red zone, like, you know, and a fat mass of 153 pounds. And he is not diagnosed with hypertension yet. 
yet and that's yet. the big key or pre or diabetes or diabetes or yeah. you know and i i look to him and i'm like listen you you're one lucky guy because at 23.7 you should have high blood pressure you should, even at 24 you should have diabetes you should have the worst back pain from all that excess fat and excess weight um and he, he a clean bill of health I said, you got to take care of this right now. Yeah. And the other thing that a lot of these, because, you know, a lot of men are walking around with this. And another thing that it does start affecting is their hormone balance. Yeah. When you have that belly fat, belly fat produces estrogen. So if you have, you know, this super young guy, he's in his 20s and he's already, his, his testosterone is already completely out of whack 10 years from now he's going to be having some serious fertility issues and some other things that go along with that. Again, another topic of conversation. We could tell yeah. this around to everything. No, for sure. But you know what? It's like, everything is really tied together. It is. Like the it's more that we talk, it's like, I'm, I'm reading this thing because I, I do some research and I'm reading this and it says the most common causes of hypertension include smoking, obesity, being overweight, diabetes, having... Uh, sedentary. I can never say that sedentary. word. Sedentary. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lifestyle, lack of physical activity, high salt or a high alcohol intake, which is huge in our society, insufficient consumption of calcium. It's like all of this you can is, control, but it's it's causes for a million other things. Yeah. So at the end of the day, obesity, mm -hmm. being overweight. Being overweight, uh, being having a, yeah. How do you say that word again? Sedentary. <laughs> My Spanish, sedentary lifestyle. Lack of physical activity. It's eat, all. Eat, eat clean, move your body, do good clean, things for your yourself. Body. You know, yeah. give yourself some peace internally as well. Because a lot of times the stress factors, we have, everybody lives with stress, you know, no matter there's different kinds of stress. There's, you know, stay at home with five kids stress. And then there's work in the corporate world stress. And then there's driving from point A to point B stress. And yeah. we need, you know, we talk about the physical stuff that people need to do. And there's also kind of a spiritual and mental side of that as well to give yourself a little bit of that balance. You know, there's, it's not just exercise. It's not just eat clean. You mm -hmm. also have to take the time to, you know, pray, so meditate, live in gratitude, live it, you know, yeah. Um, and that's something that we're definitely going to talk about um, in, in one of our videos is that piece of it, you know, yeah. stress management, um, meditation, you know, all this just goes together. It's like, it really does er, all of it. And so it also says if your blood pressure is extremely high, there may be certain symptoms you can look out for. So severe headaches, mm -hmm. nosebleed, fatigue or confusion vision problems, chest pain, difficulty breathing, irregular heartbeat, and blood in the urine. Yeah, and ideally you wanna catch it before any of that. Yes, that's the goal. And that's, that's, that was, that's my goal for this 24 year old. Yeah. Such you a nice to, guy. At the point that you become symptomatic, now it's harder to take care of it, you know, and you have other things that happen because all of these, all of these symptoms create other issues in the body that now you have to take care of also. So it's like this snowball. Yeah. It, yeah. It's like this huge snowball effect, you know, and like I said, one of the easiest things that we do in the office is help people with hypertension. Um, it's one of the most common things that we see come across um, our doors. Always checked. Hypertension, you know, you know. diabetes, and stress. And thyroid, but that's a whole other one. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, for sure, there's definitely, you know, all of these things, like we said, it all keeps going together and it all has a common, it all has a common way to solve it too. Like, yeah. you know, just like they all go together in a pack, when you actually address the causative factors of it, it also all gets resolved at mm -hmm. the same time, which is yeah. kind of magical to watch that happen and to watch people regain their health and their, yeah. you know, just that joy for life and that ability to do more. And that translates to better quality time with your family, more productivity. Right. Right. All it's around. Just, I mean, all to around. the simple thing of, you know, being able to go up the stairs. 
you know, yeah. I've had not patients, having to breathe heavy. I've had patients that live in two story houses that yeah. never go up the stairs until after they've started addressing some of these things. Imagine not being able to use half your house because you can't go upstairs. And yeah. it's a common thing. One other thing that's, I think, special for Inspire Weight Loss is that we've all been there, done that. You know, we all have our, like, our own health journey. You know, I've never, you know, thankfully dealt with, with high blood pressure. Um, I've, my story is gut health and other things that we'll get into later. But, um, you know, so, so as we, we deal with our, with our patients and our clients and, you know, it's like we have, like, this personal experience that we can relate to them. Yeah. Um, you know, so I think that that's really one of the, the missions, you know, one of the goals for Inspire is to, to always um, treat our patients and our clients with, with um, that compassion uh, because, you know, just because we own the place doesn't mean we haven't walked through it, right? Well, we all have our journey and we all have our setbacks and we all, you know, we all, we all feel, I think at the end of the day that there's stuff that we could have done better. But I think the biggest thing is that every single day you try to be a little bit better than you were yesterday, whether it's nutritionally, whether it's in your relationships, right. everything else, and you learn. It's all, yeah. you know, it's a journey. It's a learning experience. It's a journey. And, and, you know, for sure, the things there, like I said before, there's a lot of things that you cannot control about this life we live in, but there's definitely things that we yeah. can. We can. And I think we're, you know, we do a great job of helping our patients take control of the things that they can control. Yeah. And, and that's the thing, you know, I, I had a consultation today and she's like, I have to do this. But when I look at that, you know, bowl of rice, and when I look at that, you know, piece of whatever it is, she's a, she's a sugar addict, you know, um, she's like, it just gets me every single time. And I'm like, you need, uh, you need somebody to, to support you and hold you accountable and, and help you um, become stronger mentally. And that's a whole other topic. <laughs> but we do it's, that here at Inspire Weight Loss. It, 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 it's the coaching. It's the combination, I think, yeah. of the, the coaching, which sometimes could be daily coaching, depending on what our yeah. patients or clients need. It's Everything. the combination of the right supplementation. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, as hard as it is to give up some of these foods that we are that we all have addictions to, because food addiction is probably the most common thing ever. Yeah. Um, as as hard as it is to give that up, we have supplements that you know take you through that, right. and then you, right. you know and help you get over that. Right, um, so and that's the key for them to develop the ability to take a hold of their mind, um, take a hold of you know, it's I mean you should mostly psychological and we'll talk about that also <laughs> but um so then when they have to fly they can fly yeah what i tell my patients a lot of times is that by the time you've done one of our you know basically 10 week protocols in the office because we get the weight off and then we stabilize you so you don't bounce back by the time that they get through one of our protocols they should be able to teach the program to somebody else because yeah. we put you know we we yeah. give you the tools so that hopefully you don't ever need us ever again. And normally their families follow suit. And then all of a sudden, you know, that happened to me. My son would make fun of me when I was in my journey. And then now, now he's lost tons of weight and now he's a true believer. And that's, that happens in the families, which that's is fantastic. Generationally. Yeah. Generationally, that's uh, a good thing. So yeah, that's, that's what we hope for, for sure. Well, awesome. Well, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, we'll put the contact numbers in our link, uh, in the link to this. If you have any questions at all um, as to how we can help you and your family improve health for life, because this is a lifelong journey. You don't just yeah. get to be healthy for a week and then give it up. And that's um, it. That's and right. That's it. Um, how we can help you, please let us know. Reach out to us. We love to hear from you. And... Um, Good luck, Dr. Uh, well, Dr. Donna's not here with us this week, <laughs> but um, good luck, Martha. We look forward to the next one and we'll have to figure out which of these many things that all tie up together is gonna be our next topic. The next one is inflammation, which is huge, it's huge. So every week we're going to be posting these guys. Next week will be inflammation. 
And um, yeah, like Dr. Marty says, give us a shout out, um, share, share this video because people need to hear about all this. And, you know, we ju we're just talking because really that's what people need. You know, we have, we, we go into the medical stuff, but, you know, a lot of people need to, to comprehend and, 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 and understand what it is in a manner that they can, um, that can make a difference in them and say, hey, I need to do something about this um, and take action, right? Yeah, they need to get empowered and inspired. Empowered and, and inspired. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Marty. Till next week. Bye.